Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are here to represent Galatasaray University. Please take a seat back and remember how hardware revolution shaped our past. Computers, phones, tablets. Yet, the future is on software. And today, let us introduce you one of the pioneers of such revolution in Turkey, Logo Software. We issue a buy recommendation for Logo with a target price of 164.3 Turkish Liras, representing 31.6% upside potential. Our buy recommendation is based on four main pillars. Logo's strong market positioning and brand recognition, high cash generation, value creative acquisitions and supportive public policies. 4% expected dividend yield is also another cherry on the cake. Founded in 1984 and listed in 2000, Logo is Turkey's largest independent software company and the most valuable Turkish IT brand providing corporate software solutions globally. Going through a PE back studies over 2013 and 2016, Logo now has a high 66% free flow rate and distinguished institutional shareholders. Before deep diving into Logo, let's first look at the sector. Worldwide, COVID-19 proved that ICT investments are not a preference, but a measure of survival. A McKinsey survey shows that companies' immediate reaction after COVID-19 crisis to adopt new policies transform their businesses 20 to 25 times faster than predicted before. Also, a Deloitte survey shows that such digitalization brings an investment return through significant revenue and EBIT expansion. In Turkey, software, as the largest submarket of IT, is strongly correlated with AS markets. Moreover, the already high locally sourced software products ratio is expected to further rise in order to guarantee data safety and to promote the local software industry. The Turkish software market has grown with 30% CAGR over the last 15 years, and we project a 28.5% CAGR till 2025 thanks to the support of public policies and increasing AS usage by companies to adapt new digital era. Now, let's now get through our rating drivers, beginning with market positioning. Being the largest AS provider in Turkey, Logo has competitive advantage over its peers with its strong 25% market share and customer outreach through 800 business partners and 5,000 support people. On top of that, according to our own survey, Logo is mentioned as the most preferred software company among SMEs in Turkey. Over 30 years of history, Logo embarked 93,000 customers, 97% of which are MSMEs thanks to lower cost of implementation, easy compliance, and faster response time than new competitors. Tolga, can you elaborate more on cash generation? Sure. Over 2015 and 2019, Logo carried out an impressive sale growth, outpacing its peers' average. Also, taking into account Turkey's MSME-driven economy and increasing ERP and CRM penetration rates among enterprises, we expect 24% top-line growth for Logo over 2020 and 2025. Logo's revenues are followed under two broad categories, namely local and international, which could be further broken down under five subcategories as shown on the screen. These are further categorized as recurring and non-recurring revenues. As you can follow on the screen, recurring revenues are expected to increase their share within total revenues by 10.0% combined over our forecast horizon. On the domestic front, license sales generates non-recurring revenues. Although these are expected to grow with a significant 23.5% CAGR, its share within total revenue is expected to decrease. Local enterprise membership, on the other hand, is an insurance and free update package that is expected to increase its share by nearly 4.0% thanks to a shift in such services given, it becomes more affordable in the context of regular updates. Maintenance sales growth will be driven by Romanian subsidiaries, large corporate clients. Software as a service, on the other hand, is expected to still account for a tiny 4% only by 2025, despite a 40% increase in cloud service usage by enterprise and freelancers for HR, accounting, and e-solution services. Pay as you go is a license leasing solution for local companies and freelancers to use e-transformation services such as e-invoice, e-archive, and e-ledger. As an anecdote, the global VAT evasion accounts for approximately 500 billion euros per annum, a significant amount that governments wish to seal. Accordingly, Turkish government continuously expands the scope of taxpayers, obliging new companies to use e-solutions. Thanks to its market share, we expect Logo's total number of e-solution customers to double by 2021 and to triple by 2025, driving the segment contribution to 18% of top line versus 11% over 2017 and 2019. Such rise in recurring revenues will not only increase visibility, but also will lower the volatility of earnings and the dependence to microeconomic dynamics. Now let's move on value creative acquisition. After fully covering Turkey through organic and Roy expanding in organic growth, Logo navigated overseas. 
Ogos first overseas expansion, Romania, is the hidden distinguished IT base in Europe. In 2016, Logo purchased TotalSoft, a leading business software solutions firm with a large-scale corporate customer portfolio in 45 countries. Logo also acquired ABS, Bucharest-based consulting firm, for 20% of TotalSoft shares. With its dominant position in the Romanian gas market, TotalSoft is expected to enjoy from substantial market growth with 21% sales CAGR and making up 29% of the overall top line over our forecast horizon. All this coupled with OPEX normalization that increases in the early years of acquisitions and good working capital management, we expect the company's gross and EBIT margins to increase by 2.0% and 13.0% respectively, leading to a high cash generation. Such growth story could not be possible without being recognized as the 15th highest R&D expense maker in Turkey. Logo spends a quarter of its top line for R&D versus its global peers average of 15%. Besides, thanks to government incentives exempting R&D and software development profits from income and corporate tax together with a partial exemption for wages and social security premiums, Logo saved approximately 90 million Turkish liras over 2013 and 2020 and is expected to keep more than 300 million liras cash within the company until 2025. We issue a buy recommendation for Logo with a target price of 164.3 Turkish Liras, representing 31.6% upside potential. Although we have undertaken a peer analysis, our valuation is purely based on DCF model, as there exists no accurate listed local peers, and international ones are much larger in terms of size, market capitalization, and operational geographies. Our DCF analysis consists of two growth stages. The first stage includes detailed year-over-year -year forecast up to 2025, with 13.4% risk-free rate, 6.5% equities premium and 0.74 beta. Since Logo's debt is mostly denominated in euro, used for the acquisition and the working capital of TotalSoft, while calculating cost of debt, we made use of swap costs as we model on Turkish returns. The second stage is based on a terminal growth rate of 10%. As you can see on the table, we expect Logo to continue generating significant amount of cash driven by high sales growth, expanding operating margins, and continuing tax incentives. Please also note that our target price is 25% above the consensus expectations, but we expect upward adjustment from analysts going forward after consensus beating fourth quarter results and promising guidance. As a footnote, our Monte Carlo simulations suggest 76% probability for a buy recommendation as well. Logo solutions could not be greener. Just as global peers, Logo services enables its customers to reduce energy usage and rescue trees from cutting down. Also, Logo emphasizes talent management and employee loyalty to lower its already below sector employee churn rates. Logo also supports women in business by having 45% women in executive management and 44% women employees. With a high free float and high foreign shareholding, Logo puts sustainability and stakeholder approach on top of its agenda as 85% of CF Institute members now take E, S, and G factors into consideration in their investing. We believe Logo's good corporate governance practices are also crowned with its inclusion in this corporate governance and sustainability indexes for many years. This also seems to have drawn attention from recognized international investors, such as the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Norway, which currently owns 5% of Logo. The risks Logo faces are brought down to three categories, market risks, operational risks, and financial risks. From a market perspective, Logo's revenue may indirectly be affected by the economic slowdown and a potential price war from competitors. Logo's operational risks may be rooted internally, such as human capital loss and version update bugs, but also externally, such as cyber attacks. Lastly, Logo's projected robust financial performance may be hit in the case of value destructive activity. We hope we've been able to clearly explain the story of Logo, resulting a buy recommendation due to its strong market positioning and brand recognition, high cash generation and supportive public policies coupled with an attractive dividend yield. The floor is now yours for Q&A session. Thank you. Judges, please turn on your video. Stay muted unless you are asking a question. I will start time as soon as the first judge utters the first word. Time will end at 10 minutes. Feel free to begin. Tim, thank you very much for, for presenting. Uh, and, and you did very, very, very good. So great job on that. Uh, my question is around, so your terminal growth rate is 10%, right? Which is quite high on paper. I'd be very keen to know, so 
what percentage of revenue comes outside of Turkey from different regions, other than Romania, of course, so, so Europe uh, and, and any other regions? And then how do you expect that to change over time as well? Um, yes, so if you could address that, please. Sure. Uh, let me start up with the terminal growth rate and the reasoning behind of it. So as you mentioned in our presentation, uh, we, we, use, we use Turkish lira in our model. Therefore, while um, taking the terminal growth rate, we took the Turkish GDP the nominal growth rate as proxy in our calculation. And uh, briefly, the Turkish GDP growth is around 15% in nominal way. Therefore, we believe 10% is kind of conservative in that manner. And second of all, to defend this uh, situation with a quantitative background, we also took the retention rate and the average ROE rate, which is 45% for the future projections of us. And the ROE rate is approximately 27.6%, driving us to a 13% terminal growth rate. Therefore, we believe our 10% terminal growth rate in terms of nominal growth is still a conservative when we compare it with the Turkey's uh, GDP growth and also quantitative background. And for your second question, um, well, as we mentioned in our presentation, Romanian sales are driving 30% in average of logos total sales. Therefore, uh, the, the, the effect of the international sales in logos top line is 30%. And plus you can see that it is 500 million in and it is 232 million in 2021, but there is also 60 million exports from Turkey to other countries and from Romania to other countries and uh, which you can also think it as an international sales. Thank you. Team, thank you so much for your presentation. I have one question on valuation. I know that you said that you're not taking into account multiples, but did you look into multiples and how the, you know, the companies compare to international peers, especially on PEG ratio, which is uh, PE to growth? Thank you. Well, um, of course, let me just open up with the multiple comparison page. So as we mentioned in our presentation, we have undertaken a peer valuation. And uh, as you can see in this table, uh, Logo has been trading in a discount compared to their uh, international peers. However, it is important to mention that as we also mentioned in our presentation, apart from the sizes and the market capitalization operational geographies, there's an important difference between um, Logo's accounting policies and international companies' policies. According to Turkish count of 12, uh, technology companies can uh, capitalize their R&D investments, therefore, uh, there is a significant impact on the income statement, which also leads us why we did not use uh, peer comparison. But if you look at our implied value and the discount rates, you can see that logo has been trading in a discount. And for your peg ratio, we did not look at the peg ratio, but if you'll also like to see a PE comparison, uh, we can open up this matrix for that. And I think this will also give an important uh, point of view for you. But uh, let me have a comment on that. As we know, it is also the peg ratio includes the growth rates of company. And considering that logo has been an, uh, logo has been showing strong growth in the historical and recent years, we believe that the company uh, is in a quite good situation in terms of multiples. And just for a second, let me open up also the peer sensitivity, and you can understand how the peer compare how the peer valuation can also could affect the upside potential that we have. Uh, showed in our presentation. As you can see, any kind of peer rates in our valuation takes the upside potential to, to a, a more, more way. Thank you. Thank you. I uh, thank you for the presentation. Um, can you, uh, you mentioned that one of the growth drivers is uh, public policy. Can you clarify that please? Of course. So since 2001, uh, technology companies can, uh, as we mentioned in our presentation, the technology companies' revenues are exempt from taxes. And partially there are exemptions of the, the employees that have been working in the R&D division. Therefore, this accounting, as we mentioned in our presentation, uh, leads us to 10, 90 million Turkish liras cash to be saved in between 2013 and 2020. And this agreement has been extended to 2028. Therefore, we expect the 300 million cash to be saved on those manner too. Is there anything else other than taxes? For the government support? Yeah, or public policies? Uh, 
At the moment, Turkey has set their infrastructure for telecommunications and internet background. Therefore, now Turkey government has plans to uh, boost the software industry. Therefore, uh, it is not an obvious effect like the tax issue. However, uh, in Turkey right now, the, comp the government is now supporting the technology industry and especially the software industry. Thank you. Can you talk a little bit more about the margin expansion that you're you're expecting? Because I guess it is a, a transformational margin expansion, probably that you're expecting going forward. Uh, are you mentioning about this margin expansion? This slide, sure. Um, so there are three reasons for this. First of all, the main reason is that uh, due to technology companies' nature, uh, there is not a cost of sales in logos operations. More of the costs are coming through operational expenditures and mainly coming from personal expenses, uh, amortization and advertising and sale expenses. So uh, considering these um, costs are semi-fixed costs, increasing the sales that we have forecasted decreases the uh, cost proportions, cost margins, and also boosts the uh, the EBIT and EBITDA margins. And second of all, as you mentioned, there has been an integration process between uh, TotalSoft and Logo in 2016 to 2020. Therefore, there has been a, the churn rates of the employees of really much. And we believe in the upcoming years, the integration processes will ease down the situation in there and the efficiency in the operations and the, the, the employees will also have an impact on the margins. And thirdly, one of the most important thing is that uh, logo can capitalize their R&D in the R&D expenditures. Therefore, the capital expenditures can be directly seen in the cash flow as uh, personal expenses, as cash capex. However, for the income statement, this can only be reflected as a proportionately for depreciation and amortization. Therefore, it has a leggy effect on the income statement. Therefore, it also impacts the margins to uh, expand like this in our table. Um, can you clarify to us the determination of the beta number? I believe it was 0.74. Yes, I can answer this question, Lodge. Could you please open up the related appendix for this question? Yes, to find the beta of logo, we calculated the covariance between the return of the stock and the market, as well as the variance of the market returns based on the data of the last two years. Yet when we made a fact, fact check in the nominated data providers like Finnet and Rationet. Uh, we, however, found the similar numbers that we found. So it also clarifies our beta calculation. Thank you. And if uh, you're asking for in terms of levered and unlevered beta, we use the levered beta. Okay, what's the percentage of the technology sector in the Turkish market? Just a moment, please. Well, I can just briefly answer this from here. Uh, it is approximately 30% of the IT market if you're asking for the IT industry. And uh, just a second. Uh, I mean, out of the uh, stock exchange as a sector, what's the percentage? And the uh, total GDP? No, no, as a percentage of the stock market as a whole. For logo? No, for the technology sector. Oh, well, okay. So uh, we don't have an exact percentage for that. However, the technology industry in Turkey in the stock market is uh, quite low. As you can also solve it in our peer comparison analysis, there weren't any comparable peers for logo, logo in terms of software, te software companies. Therefore, uh, the, 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 the amount of the percentage of the software companies and the technology companies in the stock market is quite low. Thank you. Can you talk a little bit about FX risk, given that they expand into to other countries? Could you please repeat it, please? Absolutely. FX risk, foreign exchange risk, especially sure, if sure. uh, the, the, the company is expanding to to other countries sure so the thing is that logo does not have does not hold any uh hard currency nominated uh debt in turkey and then for the total soft side uh total soft can pay their own debts therefore there's there's not much of an fx risk in terms of logos financials and uh, additionally one important fact is that the increase in fx rates such time. as uh dollar parity time 
Oh, okay, sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pilatusarai University.